Hey, my Taurus singles, how are you? Elsie here to do a reading for you for uh, the week ahead, a Taurus singles reading. So let's figure out what's going on with our Taurus singles. Let's cut these here. Archangel Michael, Archangel Shemuel, I do need your help for understanding and for um, guidance in this reading, please, for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If I could have my angels and guides present, please, I do need your help with seeing and hearing things. Thank you for um, helping me with signs and symbols. All right, Taurus singles. Taurus singles. What is the most important thing for Taurus singles to learn at this time? Those who are ready to receive these messages, these ones are for you, Taurus. Thank you for coming here, by the way. If you are brand new, my name is Elsie. And if you have clicked here, I hope that you will take a moment to give a video uh, a thumbs up here. Um, one or more, <laughs> if you're watching, because that is how I'm being seen on the platform. So thank you so much for coming here and watching here. And if you're here all the time, thank you for coming back, my bull gangs. You guys know I love you and take care of you, right? So here we are for uh, a reading for the singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Just want to let you know that I will be opening up for private readings again soon, probably around October the 1st. And that um, if you go to Wizio, you can be notified when I'm back online and taking personal readings. And that is for my people that live outside of Canada. All right, those of you who live inside of Canada, you know what to do. Just email me first, and I'll let you know after October 1st when I can help you, okay? All right, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please tell us what is the most important thing that Taurus should know, or Taurus singles should know. Taurus singles. Taurus singles. All right. One, two. Okay. All right. Look at that. Queen of Wands under the deck. We've already got a soulmate couple, and we haven't even started. <laughs> Look at that, Taurus. Okay. So, <clears throat> what do we have here? We have um, uh, Pisces, Cancer, and uh, Scorpio. We also have all of the fixed signs in the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, the fixed signs are uh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So, we start out with wish fulfillment here. Look at that, right into it, right? Um, Taurus, um, wish fulfillment here. I feel like you're waiting on someone who might embody the King of Cups energy. This King of Cups is, um, of course, someone who is going to um, use his heart in matters as well, not just, you know, not just his head, right? He's going to make decisions based on emotional things. I think it's, it's really easy for this King to get overly emotional. Um, but I feel as though there is um, someone who has deep emotion for you, Taurus, and I feel like you um, you see this person as your wish fulfillment as well. So you could be um, thinking about someone who is uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. doesn't have to be, but someone who embodies the King of Cups. And it looks like the Wheel of Fortune is hot on your trail here. So I think what's happening here is you're going to get a new start with this King of Cups. I don't know who that means for you, but you will know who that means for you, um, that there is going to to be wish fulfillment here. Um, that's what I'm seeing. So let's uh, clarify some more here. What have we got in the past here? What have we got in the past for Taurus singles? So somebody spoke up. Somebody let somebody know that they have feelings for them. What's in the near future? Hmm, look at that. Looks like there is going to be some, um, somebody, it, it, there's either going to be a reunion here or a group of people getting together that haven't seen themselves for a while, of course, being careful and using, making sure that you're, you know, obeying the rules and regulations in your city or country um, um, because of the pandemic, right? Um, but I feel like what's what's going on here is things are about to move in your favor here, Taurus. This King of Cups, whoever they are to you, this person is coming in and is going to want to help turn this wheel forward. I think this person's going to show up at the right time because, the, of course, the Wheel of Fortune is here, right? And that's, of course, divine timing. It's a no-brainer. But I feel like this person's going to show up at the right time. So what I'm saying, why I'm saying that is because I'm hearing that being said to me. This person's showing up at the right time. And with the Wheel of Fortune on the table, that means that you don't have to worry about when they're showing up, Taurus, because they will be showing up at the right time. 
So you feel like the king is someone that you've known before, someone you've known probably in past lives. You feel like you had a good relationship with them. I think it's always been, it's always come to this with, with this person from your past, Taurus. Um, it's always come to this. To this point is what I mean. So I feel like last lives, I feel like past lives, um, I feel like you always get to this point, the point of realizing, the realization that this person is your soulmate, the realization that you could live very comfortably and happily in your wish fulfillment with your twin, with your, your, um, Gosh, what's the word I'm trying to get? With your um, soulmate. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. So I feel like what's, yeah, what's going on here is that there is a soulmate. Um, you know that the King of Cups is your soulmate. And I think the King of Cups knows that you're the soulmate as well, to be honest. Um, let's look at the King here. What's the King, what's the King's feelings? Tell us what the King is feeling, please, about this connection. What is the King feeling about this connection? is feeling wealthy. He feels like it's a good decision. He feels like you are someone who um, who brings out the best in them. Someone who they could work with or someone who they could um, the king of, of cups thinks that you're someone who's financially stable and a Taurus, they feel like you, you look to them like someone who is a hard worker, someone who is possibly looking for a mate. So this worries the king as well. The king of cups thinks that you may be looking for a mate. And um, yeah, what's going on with this? It's Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. So what is your deal, Taurus? I feel like you don't want the, the Wheel of Fortune to turn forward or you're worried about it. I feel like you have to go inside for some reason and that's what the blindfold is. I feel like you're you're in the inner self. All of your all you're using is your your hearing. Sorry, just listening. Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> I see two kids I'm doing a pinky swear. Have you ever done a pinky swear? Yeah. Two little to a little girl, a little boy. Oh, they're twins. Oh, they're children. They're brother and sister. Okay, so these kids are brother and sister, and they're. But I, I think what's important is we're hearing, "Cross my heart and hope to die." Stick a needle in my eye. Do you remember that? <laughs> Anyway, so that's what I feel is this the energy of this card right here. I feel like, um, Taurus, you you want to move forward, but you've never been past this part of your life before. I feel like this is the gate. I feel like this is the gate. And you've never been past the gates before. And I think it's terrifying you that this, this whole wheel of fortune is turning your life forward in a fortunate circumstance. And the truth is, Taurus, at least the one I'm connecting with, you've never had a fortunate circumstance. You've always had to, you've never had it given to you. Someone, you know, you just haven't had it good in this life. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling somebody's energy. Whew. I think you don't trust yourself. That's what it is, Taurus. You don't trust yourself to go any further because you really don't think that this is going to happen. Why am I so emotional today? Okay, let's keep going. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is someone, of course, who is financially stable. Look, again, we have another matched couple. There could be two people here, Taurus, that you have to choose from. I feel like you are you might be the one who's going to have to speak up and, and, and figure out which one of these people. Because I think that the King does see you, yes. But now that you're here with the Queen, what is this? This is a couple. This is These are two people that are very good in business. These are two people that um, know how to make money. Money finds them somehow. Um, they're very grounded. I feel like that is a, a couple that will make a lot, a lot of money together. Absolutely. Let's look at the King of Pentacles, please. Why have we got the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? Okay, so I think that there has been an impact to money somewhere here. The king has um, money issues. I feel like the king might have been giving to more than one. Um, and I feel like there's been a, actually a money loss here. 
Yeah, I feel like the king has lost some money. Although still financially stable, I feel like the king has had a loss of money. Something has impacted the finances for the king, and I think that's part of why um, you haven't seen your person yet. Um, yeah, I feel like you're you're protecting yourself here. Um, you feel like this wheel of fortune, Taurus. I I am giggling for you because I feel the same way. Yeah, I feel like, oh my God, here it goes. Okay, so yeah, it's all supposed to be good things. And I know that I'm going to have to learn a lot of stuff. It's going to terrify me, right? No pain, no gain. Yeah. But you do want to start again. And you want this happiness here. You do want to start again. I feel like you have a connection with someone in the 5D. And I always think that when I see the Page of Pentacles. Because for someone to come as a page, now we're talking about a king here. So for energy to come in as a page, for a messenger to come in that is a page um, to bring gifts and... Um, you know, this is this is not big money. This is little money. This is money that's at the beginning. This is someone learning how to manage their money. This is a messenger coming in and bringing messages of abundance, right? And for me, when I see the Page of Pentacles, I feel like it went from the 5D to the 3D. And that's why this person shows up as a page because right now you haven't really downloaded everything from the 5D yet. This is, you're not, you're quite unsure what you want at, in life at this point. So this is the jump off part for you here, Taurus. Um, tell me more about Taurus singles, please. Taurus singles. Taurus singles. Okay. Oh, understood. Okay. Now I get it makes a better better picture here. So, um what has happened here is that I feel like um I feel, feel like what's happened here is that the king has had an ending. The king has had an ending with someone who could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and the king has now moved forward into the present moment. And in the present moment, the king, yes, has had a money loss here. I feel like the reason that the king left this situation... Um, uh, I feel like these two cards are speaking about the king. Of course, we are speaking about your soulmate. Who is the king? But I feel like these two cards um, speak about someone uh, in the king's life who they had an ending with. And I think it was a spouse, honestly, because the queen is um, is a wife, right? And uh, um, here, I feel like what is going on in the present moment here is that there has been a money loss here. There has been a loss of money. I feel like there's also been a lack of respect. There's been a loss of respect. I feel like your... Um, your king, um, as they become, uh, as it becomes more apparent to them that they're going to become single, I feel like um, the person who was in their life, possibly this queen of, um, this queen of pentacles here, that this person, um, yeah, has been, it's almost like they've been robbed. Um, they're not giving it to them. That person's taking the money. They've been robbed. So that person, that's what I've been here, I've been robbed. And um, I think that instead of fighting it, instead of fighting it, and losing more respect for the person that the king was with, I think they're just thinking it's time to go. That they just want to go out into the expanse. They want to expand their lives. They want to use whatever money that they have to make more. And they're, and the king is 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 ready to be with you, I think, Taurus, uh, coming in your direction. Because we do have, look at this, we have this king here. And this king is making his way out to this celebration here. Um, sorry, I don't think of this as a king. But this is a guy coming back from the fight, right? And uh, someone that everybody is watching. Everyone has their eyes on them. Everyone's very passionate about the fact that this person is back and they don't look any worse for wear. This person, though, is looking for a wife or a husband. So we have this um, right here, right? And you can see that he's wearing one on his head. So back in the day, back in the medieval day, that's what they would do. The uh, mother or the matriarch, whoever it was, mother, grandmother, would make these two things here, these two wreaths. And that's how they were engaged back in the day. So when you saw someone carrying a wreath through town, uh, you knew that they were taking it to someone to ask for their hand in marriage. So these people are betrothed. So this person is looking for someone um, to be married to. And I feel like this person's wanted to do that for a very long time, that they've wanted to come toward you. Taurus and tell you that they wanted to have a new start but I feel like the two swords was was just too much I feel like it's it's sort of weird how this is really an integrated reading I almost feel like you two are twin flames because I'm feeling the same energy for them as I'm feeling from you which is the weirdest thing ever so I feel like yeah 
you're terrified because the wheel of fortune you you feel the wheel of fortune is coming your way but you're you're scared of the fortune because you've never been past this point you've never been past the gates right you've always been inside the gates and now you know i feel like it's a yeah i'm seeing a white horse with a white mane and that horse is jumping the gates and jumping the the fence and and heading out and i think that um this feels like the energy of your person so your king and this also feels like your energy because i feel like the king is also um ready to make a decision about something and i think it is about coming towards you with this here um victory yeah i feel like the, the king feels like he missed a, an opportunity and is now wanting to move forward but does isn't really sure of how you feel taurus so i feel like um this person has um yeah, they have left something. Um, I don't know if they were married, but they may have been dating. I don't know uh, what the situation was with, but we definitely will dig into it into the when we go into the extended. So I feel like what's happening here is somebody spoke up. There was a divorce. I feel like um, the uh, king is your person. It doesn't have to be, like I said. But I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is about to move forward. And this king that has missed his opportunity is not about to do that again. So we are going to go into the... Um, into the um, into the extended here. We do want to find out what's going to go on in the celebration for sure. And um, we are also going to look at, um, yeah, this here. What has come to an end and who is this person? And are these two people or is it one person? So yeah, we want, need to find out what's being downloaded into the 3D because this king feels like he missed an opportunity with you, Taurus. And I feel like, although I don't see it, um, I feel like that when this person comes in and asks you, you will say yes um, to being with them. But I, I don't see anything that shows me. Well, I guess this this is a reunion. So this could be the second time around. So I think you really, you know this person. Um, and uh, I think you've had words with this person, actually, because I see the Queen of Swords. Also, Taurus, um, you could also be divorced or this person is, is getting divorced. Okay, so we're going to take some... Um, <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to get some oracles here, Taurus, and then we're going to go in uh, to the extended, and uh, we're going to throw some more um, uh, oracles down here. We're really going to get into what is going on here and who these people are. So, um, if uh, if you need it to be um, clarified a little bit more for you, that's what I'm going to be doing in the extended. And. <coughs> Yeah, I want to find out what the loss of money is here, too. Because it came out on the top of the King of Pentacles. So the King's lost something. Something's going on with the King, but we will find out in the extended. What do we have here? We have failure. And we have, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Excellent. Good, good, good. It sounds like somebody's feeling like they made a mistake here. Um, and yeah, there is never is failure. It's all, you know... Take the lesson, people. Just take the lesson and bless it for what it showed you. Even if it's mean, bless it for what it showed you, what it taught you, and send it on its way in love. That's all you can do. Then we have freedom because that will give you freedom, I'm telling you. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Um, freedom. I won't let you down. I won't give you up. Uh, something about listening to the sound. I will not give you up. Oh, that's George Michael. Really, really love to stick around. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is um, um, Freedom. Yeah, that's the song, Freedom 90, right? So it says, I possess the, the, the power and the free will to create my happiness. So um, I feel like that song is significant if you uh, want to um, go to YouTube and find out what that is. I feel like it's significant and I also feel like um, that is how your person is feeling, is feeling like they have freedom. So I'm going to venture a guess here that it was your person that was in the, the other thing because you are single. And uh, I think this person is out of the other thing or, or like really close to being out. So, oh. Okay, my little guy around the corner, you guys, he's waving, it's around the corner, it's around the corner. We've had this before, right? We've had this before. I think that when we look at the extended, we're also going to ask for a timeline. Yeah, for those of you who have been waiting. Okay, so tell me about failure. Let's clarify failure, please. What do we have for failure? Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter here. We have a dog. 
Now, this person could really have a dog, <laughs> um, but I feel like it's um, a failure of a friendship. I feel like somebody's feeling like they failed in a friendship because the dog is loyal. So someone here, I feel Taurus, your king possibly, but someone in your life, or maybe you're feeling this about the king, you feel like it's a failure because... Just listening. Yeah, because I, th I feel like you and... Um, one of these kings here are very good friends, and I feel like your king feels like they failed you. Yeah, that they failed you in the friendship, because the dog is very, you know, it's all about friendship and being very loyal. This this little dog has a rose in its mouth as well, so I feel like that loyalty and love is what we're talking about, and I feel like, I don't feel like it was you that failed, Taurus. I feel it was your person that failed, that they feel like they failed, right? Yeah, look at that. We've got the bouquet. So this person has intentions of, of loving you. This person wants to love you. This is a gift. They're bringing gifts in with them. I feel like this person's been in hermit mode, thinking about you for a while. What's really interesting here is that this is card number nine, right? And this is card number 18, which is also card number nine. So we've got two nines, Taurus. I don't know if you want to clear, if you want to uh, Google that. Why are two nines showing up in uh, the reading? But I do know that nines are about, you know, um, you know, they're very close to the tens. So you've gotten over all the hard work, and uh, yeah, it's time for you to. It's time for you to go to that friend that you love. Is that what the bouquet is? Give me a second here. I don't know why some of these cards don't stick in my head. They just do not. The bouquet I see is marriage and love. And I think I'm always wrong on that for some reason. The bouquet. Nine. Nine. The bouquet. Okay, yeah. Gifts, abundance, friendship, joy, peace, happiness, love. Um, a wish come true or a gift received. So, Taurus, you are about to get a gift of some sort. It could be flowers. It could be a puppy. I'm just saying. But I feel like this person is sad. They feel like they failed you. But this person, your person, is looking at this as an opportunity to learn. So I feel like that's where the gifts are coming from. They turned away from you before. They need to let you know that you are their wish fulfillment and their... Um, their soulmate, right? The Six of Cups. And um, I feel like this person is, yeah, going to be coming with something in hand. So that tells me if they're going to be coming with something in hand, coming tells me that they're going to be visiting. So um, I don't see anything of that here. We will ask about that in the extended. We need, we have freedom here. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Your person's been trying hard. Yep, to create their own happiness. Since they left their person, Taurus, and they're without you, they've been trying hard to find their happiness because now they've got their freedom, right? We've got the crossroads here. This person's at a crossroads in their life. They're going to make a big change of some kind. Yep, I don't think that's you. I think that's your person. They're going to make a big leap, some sort of big change in their life. They're going to become the leader. I'm just going to look at the bear. They are going to take the lead in their life, I think. I think that's what your person is. Also, one and five is six, which is the lovers. I feel like your person, Taurus, is taking um, steps steps towards you by being the bear, which is the leader, and one and five is six, which is the lovers. So I think they're taking the lead on the love, is what I think. They feel free to do so because they've been at the crossroads in their life for I, I feel like it's been a year or two. I feel like this person's been stuck in their own energy for a very long time. Let's look at 15, which is the bear. And it says something or someone overbearing, especially in business or career. Okay, so maybe your person is looking at having freedom from work, like freedom from a job. I think your person might want to quit their job and look for something better or something where they feel um, like they fit in more. Okay, so we're going to talk more about that, but we're going to go into the extended to do it. So if you would like to come there with us, there is a link down below. It's the first link in the description. Thank you so much for uh, participating here, for clicking here, and thank you for your thumbs up. It really is important that you give a video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, only because that's the way we get seen on the, on the platform. If you want more readings, you guys, we just need to, we count on you in order to get us to be seen so more people can come in so we can continue to do, um, you know, as much as we can for you for free. So 
I'm going to go for now. If you want to come over to the extended, you know where to find me. I will be there. Love you so much. Bye, my bull gang.